Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to review the Denier ARM development board. As you can see, it's uh, it's the same OLED display that is uh, on my other videos. As you can see, it's removable, and uh, you you can use this board to do some applications to uh, the OLED screen here. <coughs> it got a USB port here so that you can connect it to a computer uh, and you get the uh, connection so that you can uh, program the device you get a reset button you get a boot button power and uh, all well the usual common keyboard it's an ARM STM32 processor. It uh, runs at 72 MHz. It also got a lithium ion battery on the other side. And it, it has a built in charger. Also, you get the expansion port here, which is, uh, which is uh, the whole port C on the uh, GPIO C on the STM32. And uh, it, uh, it works with the SPI interface to the display here. Why we show SPI interface is because when you have this ARM processor here, you can use the DMA to uh, push out the data from the SPI to the screen, so that you can you can make a whole frame in the RAM, RAM memory and then just tell the DMA to push it out and uh, you can get a fairly good uh, refresh rate of the screen up to about uh, 100 FPS so here is the device itself it's a Denier uh, it's a simple test program right now on it you are able to move the counter you can see the sine wave there also you can uh, uh, reset the counter you can also reset the position of the counter you can actually invert parts of the frame and as you can see, it, it works in real time here. And uh, because you don't see any flickering, except the uh, one for refresh rate, uh, it's because it uses the frame buffer. So it uh, draws the whole picture in the RAM memory. Then it uses the DMA to push it out to the OLED. And also, we have an off, uh, off and on option. Because as you might have noticed, there isn't any off button, there is just a power button and a reset button. Uh, so what it does is that it uses software and hardware to power off the device. It's uh, just something that we thought was cool, that instead of having a switch or something, it's all software driven so that you can have a menu that uh, perhaps is a shutdown menu or sleep menu uh, so that uh, the device itself is actually capable of shutting it down completely and of course uh, the charging will uh, uh, continue if you have a USB inside and even if you turn off the SDM32 You charge the battery battery by USB port here, of course. So here we have an application that doesn't use the on-off button or any. It, it it just uses the power button, but you are not able to turn anything off here. So you just push reset, and we're off. 
the whole device is now shut down in and uh, the logic is uh, uh, don't, don't doesn't have any voltage So this is the ARM development board, as I said earlier. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see it up closer. Perhaps I have to take that one. There is no components on the back, so it's pretty clean. And uh, this board will be for sale on our web page when we get it up and running. This is the STM32 there. It has uh, 128 kilobytes of uh, memory and 20 kilobytes of uh, RAM. You're also possible uh, to change it yourself to a bigger, maybe the RET6, which has uh, 200 feet, no, 512 kilobytes of flash and 64 kilobytes of uh, uh, RAM. This product will be for sale for about 400 Swedish crones, so uh, that adds up to about $45 US dollars and with this it should be about $70 There is a lot of games out on the internet for the STM32 primer, primer 1, which uses a similar small screen, not uh, uh, it has a little bit high resolution, but it's possible to port games from that device to this device fairly easy so that you can play some pretty neat games that other users have made. Okay, that's all for this time and uh, I hope you like this board and that you think it's inspiring for you to begin to play around with the STM32. Bye.